But dear students, there are some extra bits about the application form which are very important to discuss before going to the next step. Being a selector, you are looking for evidence that you have the following competencies required in the job. There are some competencies which need to be required in the job and these competencies are called as a generic competencies. For example, number one, there is an achievement drive. That the person has an achievement drive or they have an achievement desire. Then number two is an influencing skills that they can influence someone in the job. And number three is the analysis that are the analytical skills. Number four are the learning ability that the person has an ability to learn new skills and, and ideas in the organization. Number five, the person has an interpersonal skills that they have a very good interpersonal skills while working within the organization and outside of the organization with external stakeholders. And then the person has a planning and organizing skills. So these are the major competencies which need to be determined in any application form. So but first of the three skills or first of the three competencies are more important which include achievement derived, number two influencing and number three analysis. So we have discussed these things in more details. Uh, in addition to these competencies we have several other concepts which need to be kept in mind. Number one Give one or two examples of what you actually did in the organization, in your past organization. So please be specific about your contribution. So this can be a question which you can directly ask from any of the applicant in the application process. Then don't give examples of things you are aware of but did not have any active involvement in. Sometimes some applicants are involved in some of the matters in their previous organization but they never been actively involved in that matter but they are trying to mention all those things in their application form so you have to mention in the application form that please don't mention such kind of things in your application form so you can better able to shortlist the person and number three that is very important be concise Conciseness in the application form is very important. If you would put information in more concise manner, it would be better able to judge that what kind of competencies the person have. So keep in the space provided and don't do into unnecessary details. If applicant would put unnecessary details into the application form, obviously it would distort the whole process and it would take more time to shortlist the candidates for the further process. The information the applicant provided will be used as a basis for deciding whom to shortlist for the next stage of the selection process. So application form is not a useless document. It is a very very important document and it have a lot of information about the candidate. And based on that information you have to shortlist the candidates. So it is always advised to the applicant that they need to put more concise, more relevant, more valuable information into the application form so that information can help them to shortlist the more competent applicants for the further selection process. Uh, so now we have to discuss about the three competencies which are very important in the application form and we have to ask certain question about these competencies. The first one is an achievement des derived. Please you have to ask from a candidate please give an example of when you achieved something difficult. So please cover uh, what the objective was. Number two, any obst obstacles you encountered in, in solving that problem. Then number three, how you overcame them. How you overcame such kind of obstacles. Number four, how you felt about these obstacles. What was your feeling? And number five, what the outcome was. What the final outcome of that ob obstacle. So you have to you have to ask a very specific question about achievement drive of the applicant in the application form. Then another skill is influencing. So another very specific question about influencing. Please give us an example when you persuaded someone to do something for you. So persuasion skill, persuasiveness. How persuasive you are in the organization. So please cover the following question of what the stakes were, 
uh, what the consequences of failure would have been if something would be failure then how what would be the consequences what exactly you did as a manager as an employee and number four what the outcome was of that thing and number three skill is the analysis analysis and number three competencies which is very important in terms of importance is analysis so you have to ask another specific question about the analysis please describe a complex problem you have tackled outlining in detail how you set about solving it please cover the following question number one how you identified the problem how you identified the problem very specific very tricky question number two what information you gather in and in analyzing that particular phenomena and number three what analysis you carried out in in in, in managing that analysis thing and number four question the option priorities you considered in an in analyzing process and number five your rationale for doing what you did rational logic is very important in the analysis process and the last question that is the last question in almost in every competency what the outcome was for that the whole process so you have to ask for the outcome uh, at the end so you can tell that what was the final outcome of the whole competencies which someone is experiencing in their past organization.